Early in the Norwegian campaign, British troops were landed at Namsos with the intention of moving south to Trondheim. However, German air superiority saw these men simply stay there and do a heavy attack before finally being withdrawn. The 15th and 16th anti-submarine striking forces, which were really just eight requisition trawlers manned by reserve crews, patrolled the waters off Namsos, but were also very vulnerable to air attack themselves. One of these trawlers was HMS Arab, commanded by Reserve Lieutenant Richard Stannard. He was 37 years old and a 22-year veteran of the Merchant Service. He was subjected to many trials over a five-day period that one might think would be found more in a movie than in real life. There we are. Arab had arrived early in the morning of the 28th of April, and the day's chaos began for them when an air attack set fire to ammunition on the jetty, to which she, and more dangerously, a French ammunition ship, were moored. Lieutenant Stannard kept his vessel up against the jetty, sent most of the crew aft for their own protection, and then worked for two hours with Arab's fire hoses to put the fire out, with his men occasionally having to wet him down to protect him against the heat. Part of the jetty was saved, so it was a partial success there. After bringing French troops off of Namsos, Arab received severe damage from air attack. Lieutenant Stannard brought her under some cliffs for protection, took the crew off, and set up a makeshift anti-aircraft position. After a nearby vessel, the Aston Via, was set afire by a bomb, he went back to Arab and moved her a safe distance away before Aston Via exploded. Finally, on the 2nd of May, Arab set off from Namsos, but a high coal 115 quickly spied them and ordered the ship to return to Namsos or be sunk. Lieutenant Standard refused and succeeded in shooting down the bomber when it came too close during a strafing run. In spite of the engine damage that Arab had received from that air attack on the 29th of April, the ship made it back to Britain. There was no rest for them, though, and she soon afterwards was assisting the Dunkirk evacuation. This wasn't the end of Lieutenant Stannard's wartime career. He later uh, commanded HMS Ramsey, which was one of the old U.S.-built destroyers that was traded for British bases in 1940, and he helped to sink a German submarine in 1943, after the war, went back to the merchant service and later settled in Australia, where he died in 1977.